Hi guys, it's Fanny. Welcome back to Creature by Fabi. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. So today I'm so excited because I'm doing a special video because I'm doing a collab with such a talented lady, Maria from Crafting with Maria. So if you haven't heard from her, I would love to you go and check her channel. She does a lot of farmhouse decor, hauls, and blogs, and you will not be disappointed. I promise you guys. So I would love to you go and then show some love and let her know you're coming from Creature by Fabi. And if you're coming from Crafting with Maria, hello and welcome. You will not be disappointed to be in here. If you love crafting DIYs, you are in the right place. So today I'm going to be sharing with you three DIYs for Christmas using the lot three items. So I really hope you guys enjoy and stay into the end. And let me know which one was your favorite one, number one, number two, or number three. Yes, we have three DIYs today. And if you want to see what I did, let's keep watching. So for the first DIY, you will need a burn, a Christmas pig, a Christmas frame or canvas, a little bird, a wrapping wrapping paper, white paint, empty wax, gray paint, and a gather sign and also a peace, peace sign, some twine, and let's get created. And also I forget to mention it, mash brush. <laughs> so first what I did was just cut a piece of wrapping paper and now I'm going to place it on the board. As you can see next I'm going to be using some paper and center the edges just like so give that weather look just like so and now I'm going to be using some mash brush and cover the entire board and now we're going to let it dry and going to work with a this Christmas friend so first what I did was just remove the tag and then I also send it a little bit the glue and now I'm going to be removing the little hanger with the little clippers just like so and now I'm going to be using some white paint and painted the entire box as you can see I also going to be painting the gather sign with the same paint so next with the sign piece I'm going to be creating like a galvanized a look so I'm going to be using the gray paint first just to remove the shiny look so then I'm going to be using some empty wax just a little bit just tapping around and also the less over white paint that I have in my brush and also a little bit of brown just like so if you have a little bit of black you can use that and you will look even better so then I'm going to be just placing my pieces on my board so for that i just going to be using a strong glue you can use e6000 or any other strong glue that you have on top the hot glue for quick process so that's what i've been doing right now and i'm going to be placing all just like so so now i'm going to be just decorating my little box so I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot glue and place it a little bit on it and then some leaves some pine cone and also some greenery and a little berries just like so and now I'm going to be placing my gather sign on the bottle but I'm going to be placing the board inside so for that I'm going to be I am using a lot of strong glue and also high glue to keep it in place so to make it easy I just put it laid it down and place the board on the little inside of the little box then I just pressing a little bit down and now I'm going to be also using extra high glue and also I'm going to be using those little clumps just to uh, give some pressure and let it dry for a little bit so then in the meantime I'm going to be just pulling apart a Christmas pig and I'm going to be just decorating my little box as you can see to create like a little arrangement and now 
I was needing something silver so I added those little berries <laughs> oh yeah and that's how it looks like at this point you can leave it the way it is because it's beautiful already but I was needing some twine so I'm going to be just wrapping around on top of the board as you can see and also I'm going to be creating a little bow and I'm going to be placing it on top so for make the bow I just wrapping around the twine around my hand it and then just place it on top of my frame I mean my board <laughs> then I just add a more twine around my little box as you can see I also added a little bit of white paint on um, the edges with the less over paint it was to my brush So for the next DIY, I'm going to be using some nautical rose, some ornaments, and also some twine and white string, and wrapping paper. <laughs> so first I'm going to be removing the green side of the ornament and also the twine, as you can see. And now I'm going to be cutting the wrapping paper, drawing the ornament on it, and then I'm going to be cutting. So next after I cut the paper, I'm going to be using mash brush and then place it on the ornament again so I didn't show that part on the video because I thought I was recording and sadly I wasn't so but that's how what I did and then I'm going to be removing the little green part of the little joint sign just like so and then I give it some gray paint coat and I'm going to be just folding a little bit the green part because I want to look a little bit smaller if that makes sense <laughs> and now I'm going to be just wrapping around a little bit of twine on the center just to give it a rustic look and then I'm going just to be placing back on the ornament just like so next I'm going to be using some twine and also the white string to create little tassels so all oh, what I did just put together this both the strings and then just get a fold the bunch of times and then after I have enough the way that I want it I just tied it on the center and did a tight knot and then I'm going to be just place the other twine on the bottle if that makes sense and then cut it and that's how it looks like and then I did a bunch of those. I think I did like eight. <laughs> and now I'm going to be just, just hang the tassels and the ornaments on the nautical rope. So first what I did just was fold the nautical rope just to know where it was my half. And then I just placed my first um, tassel just to know. And now with the ornament, uh, I didn't left the twine they come with so now i'm going just to place it a little bit of twine and then on the center and then go back something like that and now that will be the same twine that i'm going to be using to place it on the rock if it that makes sense <laughs> you understand me all right and yeah i'm going to be repeating the same step with the rest of my ornaments just like so So now for the last DIY, I'm going to be using those floral bases, uh, some, those, I think they call poison bottles <laughs> from Halloween, some black paint and also some lead candles. So first I just did a one coat of black paint to the bottles and then I'm going to be painting the bottle of the bases just like so. So I use some masking tape just to get that direction if you want to clean the excess of the paint you can use some alcohol i can show you but in my case i'm not going to be needing that so i'm going to be just wrapping around a little bit of twine just like so just to give it that rustic look and now i'm going to be using some strong glue you can use e6000 or any other 
strong glue you have in hand and some hot glue at the same time to quick process <laughs> and now i'm going to be using the wrapping paper and wrapping my led candles using mash brush as you can see Next, I'm going to be using the same paper just to send the edges and don't worry about that. I'm going to be using some black paint just to give it a better finish look. Just like so. At this point, you can leave it like that, but I decided to create a little uh, Christmas tree with a chalk paint. And, and drawing. It's, they didn't come out perfect, but I think it came out cute anyway. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with the other one, just like so. And now there you have it, a beautiful candle holder. So that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know which one was your favorite one, number one, number two, or number three. So see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friend. If you like this video, please give me a big, big thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.